Salty, warm, golden piss in the face. Open up your mouth, here comes the golden drops. Piss in the face. Hot, salty, warm, golden piss in the face. Open up your mouth, here comes the golden drops. Piss in the face. He walks without a plan in the valley of the deep. That woman stands firm and gives the enemies no rest. Sleep, they haven't seen it since they had to cross paths. Beliefs full of function here, you better haul ass. Needs just a bunch of messed up priorities. Stockholm is city filled. Welcome to Misdirect, that is an audio show recorded by Grace BDF from woworgold.blogspot.com. Hey, this is Misdirect episode 3. Uh, and it's it's recorded directly after episode 2. And um, what can I say? Hold on here, I'm checking the volume, great. Um, I think that I'll be using, using, using show notes for this one. And hopefully I'll be talking about Poseidus. Um, most likely I will talk about Poseidus as well as talking about random shit while talking about Poseidus. So fuck it. Uh, this is basically the intro. I'm still drinking beer. I need more. Uh, I'm getting phone calls, but I feel like I got to keep going and this is great. So for those that didn't listen to episode two, episode two was basically me ranting about random shit because I got pissed off for not rating my internet died. And uh, this is just a few minutes later, so it's basically the same situation, but now I'm going to try and talk about Poseidus. And, and I feel that the second episode was a good, it was good. The The mental difference between recording the first episode and the and the second definitely added up, and it made, uh, I've grown, I've definitely grown. I, I can feel that I'm a great, great, great uh, talker of bullshit right now. So, that's the break. Let's uh, head on to the next part of the show, which is farming Poseidus in Vashir, a rare mount that is yo <laughs> that only is usable in aquatic waters. Thanks. Right, so Poseidus is basically a rare elite seahorse that can be found in uh, Vashir. Shimmering, sh- shimmering, exp- wow, my microphone, shit. Right, <laughs> so let's do this. I really can't. Wow, I need help. Anyway, so Poseidus, Poseidus is basically a rare elite seahorse that you can found found find in uh, Vashir, <laughs> shimmering expanse, expanse, yeah, uh, as well as abyssal depths or slash or in abyssal depths. Um, you basically kill this level eighty one mob, non elite. And you, um, and he drops, uh, you know, random loot. Uh, when I killed him, I got some random stuff. The Gilnean Ring of Ruination, as well as um, the Major Strength Enchant, I think it was. Yeah, I think it's the rain, uh, the Strength one, not the agility, agility, whatever the fuck. Either way, I sold it. So, I lost it all. <laughs> yeah, basically... Because I'm looking at the screen here, I'm trying to be fast, and it's going super slow. Just like Grissom said in CSI, when you want to go fast, go slow. Yeah, so, um, he can be found in Vashir, and I'm looking at Wowhead here, and um, he has four spawn points. Um, Oh yeah, the mount is actually an epic, it's an epic rare mount, so, uh, seahorse mount, so it can only be used in water. Use. Teaches you how to beckon your subdued abyssal seahorse. Can only be summoned in aquatic env- environments. Environments, yeah. Uh, requires level 78. So that's good to know as well for people that have alts that want to go out and farm this guy um, instead of maybe using their mains, depending on. I mean, I used my DK. My DK um, uses uh, Path of Frost in order to travel faster by flying because I, I bought him the um, 300. And we had 310, yeah, speed mount, whatever, uh, speed, uh, sound barrier achievement shit, so that he could move faster, so yeah, I'm using that. This is definitely unfocused, but I don't give a fuck, you know, this is a good beginning, I mean, I'm using show notes, and uh, things are actually moving on, and I'm alone here, so it's all good. Anyway, he has four spawn points in Shimmering Expanse, in ex- Shimmering, <laughs> I'm so stressed, in Shimmering Expanse. Um... The first spawn point, uh, if you go to Wowhead, you'll see a picture, Shimmering Expanse, and you'll see a picture with four dots. Well, actually, there's a lot of dots because it's Wowhead, blah, blah, blah. But I'll just pick a random number in the middle. So, 66.8. 
No, let me just do it like this. If you go to 6642, that's spawn point number, I would like to call it number 2, because I read it like from the left. So to the left, you'll find um, 4650. These, these are chords, by the way. I haven't told you that, but now I'm telling you that. So 4650, um, 6542. Then we go down to 3 here, which is 4068 and 5883. Those are the spawn points in Shimmering Expanse. And I'll definitely need to move on to the other zone, which I don't have an idea how to fucking get there. Abyssal Depths. Yeah, right, I found it. And um, if you... Um, he has five spawn point points in total. 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 And um, you can basically... You can... you can when you, when you go to get him, you can do it in you know various ways. Um, in... Abyssal Depths. Damn, there's no dot here, so I can't actually tell you where it is. Um, fuck it. I'll give you more information later. But basically, when you when you farm Poseidus, you can do it in, in multiple ways. I'm not, I'm not even using show notes here. I'm just freestyling as I go. But I'll actually start reading now to see if I can um, tell you something more. Right, j just to give you a big uh, background story. Um, I started farming Poseidus. I got a tip from Elemental Gold at Twitter. Um, from Chamonix, shit, I don't know his name, but he writes the blog Elemental Gold. So he was out farming Poseidus, and I asked, yo, what is Poseidus? And he answered and told me, yeah, it's a rare mount, found a bachelor that I just told you, blah, blah. So um, I went out and farmed him, not to actually use the mount, but to make gold, since I've been a, an avid gold maker. I've been addicted to gold since fucking almost day one. I wasn't good back then, but I mean, I've been addicted since. I've done dailies in BC, you know, the Isle of Quelodos. Used to run those on four or five shit characters. I don't remember. But it was hell, but I was in it for the gold. So, you know, I did what I had to do. Uh, learn, but but th that's the good part. When you do stuff that you really hate, that's when you learn how to, um, like, okay, shit, this, is, this, this, this just isn't working out for me. What can I do instead? And that's when you start to branch out and do other things because that's when I understood that, nope, dailies is no longer for me. I've done the dailies. I've got the fucking rep. Three fucking dudes got exalted with fucking sons of the shattered, whatever, offensive dudes. Uh, and I love that tabard. I must say, I still have it. Graze, my uh, main banker, which I use on the as a, as a name on the blog because I call myself Graze BDF. He's basically my main banker. Um, and, uh, right, 7 minutes and 43 seconds. Yep. Um, I'm actually, by saying the, the time... I have to keep track of how fast I am, so that's good. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, so Gray's my main backer, banker, and I'm actually talking about Poseidus here, so fuck that. I got Poseidus after 11 days of hunting, and I used various strategies. First off, I had my main, which was my hunter, is my hunter. I went to Vashir with my hunter, who had done the quests in Vashir, which I actually hated. So I decided that, okay, I have one dude, he has the seahorse, he goes and gets it. Uh, well, hunts for the seahorse. Um, and this was, I didn't even know what the seahorse looked like. I looked it up after I got the goddamn seahorse, um, after I killed him, because I have, I have the reins, I mean, I still have the reins. Um, they're on my banker, on the lion side, and I'm trying to sell them. And uh, some dude tried to, he told me that he'll give me 70k, actually 100 for him, but you know, 70 is cool, but you know, can't mail them. And I haven't even logged on because my fucking internet died on me, so I couldn't get in. And uh, now that I can get in, I just don't feel like it. But I'll basically post them on the AH. I'll tell them, yep, this is a 5%. Um, yeah, I'm adding 5% for the AH uh, cut, which makes 73500 And if he buys it, he buys it. And, I mean, I would be very happy because right now I'm just feeling like, yep, it's worth about 5K. Because when I looked at the pictures, when I looked at the pictures of the goddamn seahorse, my God, it's not shit, man. Whew. Okay. I'm, I'm a kind of... I can collect mounts and I also can't collect mounts. If if something looks little well, if something looks good, sure thing. I'm all for it, man. I'm all in. But it also depends on what I have to do. If it's like time lost proto Drake, fucking search for I don't know what a, a year or something. No, I'll pass. Um, if it's rare beasts, well, rare pets, the these uh, spirit beasts. Yeah, that's what they're called. Um, then it's kind of like yes and no because I mean most of them actually look fucking ugly so I don't I wouldn't even want them but I got went in wrath when I was bored well I I was actually bored most of the expansion in certain ways but some things were fun I mean raiding was fun 
when I had done the gold making for so long and uh, the end game was like, I had done the PvP part and I felt like, okay, there's like one more patch and then, and then Cataclysm comes. Then I felt like, okay, there's no point in PvPing right now because if I get more gear, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, no, 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 not, 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 not that I get more gear, but actually like, wow, that beer, I would need more and it's actually finished. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to push the pause button because right now I'm on a fucking roll right here, you know. I'm uh, I'm about to say names that I can't because I don't know the guys and it's not like and it's actually people from World of Warcraft. You can't just name drop people randomly without actually having something behind it. So, I mean, if I went like, yeah, I'm Sean Connery on the in this bitch. Well, that's one thing. But I mean, if I go like, yep, I'm Loader. No, that does not make sense. So forget about that. And I just lost myself. So let's just hop straight back into it. He's an ugly seahorse. That's that. Um, so I was out there on my main, and then I thought, well, I might as well level an alt, because I'm not an altaholic anymore. I really tried to get off with my altitis, uh, you know, lay low with the shit, because I level alts, they they reach max level, I never play them again, they just bank or whatever. That's the good part about Cataclysm, I really love that part. To have, because this is the first expansion that I had high level bankers, and I had this many. And I mean, when you have bankers with flying mounts, that's fucking great. When you have bankers with professions, fucking great. Um, now, mailing stuff between bankers, well, I should streamline that part. But, you know, things are definitely going to work out with time. So, um, I was out with my main, and then I thought, well, I might as well level my alt. So, I brought alt number two. I think it was a lock. I have no idea which order this was in. But anyway, I brought another alt. Um, down to Vashir and I did the quest and I thought okay cool and then I you know posted that then I had two characters that I would log in and out I don't, I'm not sure if I logged in and out then you know by that time but I definitely went for that approach that I would be logging in and out instead of flying back and forth well wow, we're 12 minutes in so this is the first part of my Persaitis rant um, then I leveled alt number three and I thought yep yeah, this quest is might not be that long so you know I'll, uh, you know, get another alt out there and, you know, I'll, I'll, I used the spawn points which were closest. So one dude will maybe use spawn point number one and two. The other dude would do spawn point number three and four. And the fifth would be in Abyssal Deaths, which only has one spawn point. And by doing that, I, I felt that, yep, I'm actually saving time because I'm, while I could have flown round with one tune, um, when one is like at the farthest bit away, I log out, boom, log the next, and then he moves, and then, you know, I just do a rotation back and forth, back and forth, whatever the fuck. And the, and the third guy, he just sits there. So after the third alt, I felt like, yeah, shit, this is really easy. I mean, getting the quest, it's like maybe, I don't know, 10 quests or something, not, not that many. And there were, th this time around, there were no people leveling. I mean, last time I was in fucking Vashir, it was fucking filled with fucking idiots all over the place. You had guys with PvP, and we mostly have Alliance on our side, our, our realm. I'm Horde. I love the Horde. By the way, Horde for Life is a good podcast. I haven't even listened that much, but Rich, he rocks my balls. Wow. So, and and then, um, uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to put in a break right there when I say things that are, yeah, piss in the face. So, let me check the time. Damn, I will not make it. I'm actually getting a phone call. I'm getting a phone call here as well, so I'm super stressed, man. Damn, I can feel my life fucking fading away. So I had three alts. Then I thought, oh, fuck it. I'll just get all of my six fucking 80s or, 80s or above. I'll get all those tunes. Uh, they'll do the quest. They'll get a seahorse. Yeah, that was the thing. When you have a seahorse in Bashir, you can actually travel a lot faster than if you swim. And another tip is when you don't have this, the, the seahorse, you can use the sea legs to run on the ground. So when you run on the ground, you, you travel a lot faster than if you just swim. Now, this is the tip that I, that I would use on any tune that will go there, even if you just use one. Because that, that's an important bit. Um, I have one more minute here. So pff, there's basically... Well, I did, I did talk about scamp, uh, scamping, about camping spawn points. So that's good. And, uh, yep, it's about selling him using the rotation, I told you that. Slowing down, using less alts. Well, I'll get to that later. So that was basically uh, the first part of the Poseidus run. And uh, I'll log off here so I can put in the intro music and all that sh Um Thanks a lot for listening. This is Misdirect Episode 3. And Grace BDF signing the fuck out. Thanks. Open up your mouth, here comes the golden drops. Piss in the face. Hot, salty, warm, golden. Piss in the face. Open up your mouth, here comes the golden drops. Piss.